Hello everybody, my name's Zero Damaru, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Okay, so, in the last episode, we uh, broke away from France. Because this whole area has just become a massive area of just what the hell is going on. Uh, our plan, currently, is to pick away at France slowly. Uh, because currently we can't even check what we need to usurp the title of the Kingdom of France. We can't, we can't even, it's not even an option until the, uh, nine, uh, 915. Which kind of sucks, because I'd like to know if I even need to pick away at him. I probably do. But I'd like to know. I'd like to know how close I am. Either way, doesn't matter, I guess. We're also waiting for this, uh, the King of Aquitaine down here to come out of his war. Because I plan to usurp a title away from him. The funny thing is, if we pull back here... You know, we're kind of sandwiched in between the two powers right now, but between the two of them, we have the most troops that we can call on. I don't understand quite how that is. That's maybe I'm misunderstanding something here. Oh, wait, hold, here we go. Never mind. Yeah, so he can pull in probably about 4,000. This is just his personal levies. Okay, I should actually double check on that on this guy because I may have been made a mistake here. Yeah, he can pull in about 3,000. So if we're going to do that, we're either going to need allies or mercs. And mercs are definitely an option. But that being said... That being said... I think I'll save the merc idea until we have... Um, you know, a shot to go for the throat, essentially. We do have this little area down here that we can claim, though. Your liege is, let's take a look at you. 7,000, never mind. What the hell are you? Like, what do you control? You are, holy shit. You're a king of a lot of shit. Kingdom of Italy, Kingdom of... Okay, yeah, no, we're not We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. That's a bad idea. That is a horrible, horrible, bad idea. Let's not do that. The one thing we might be able to do is actually to take this realm in here because our numbers are fairly close. Like, if I look at me... Yeah, it's saying I've got... Yeah, okay. We're going to continue with the original plan, then. We're just going to pick away at France. I think I can do it without mercs, but I have the money to hire them as kind of a... Whoops, I shit. I uh, made a mistake, and now I need help. But as I said, first thing we're going to do is let my own levies kind of recover a bit here. Spend a little bit of time at peace. Partially to gain some more wealth, because, you know, that's always a good thing. Frame rate's tanking a bit, though. That's never a good sign. It's still not bad, but all the same. Alright, how are the levies looking? Still recovering. So we'll give them a few moments. They're not far enough down that I'm going to worry about, like, reassigning my marshal or whatever. Speaking of, how is the technology thing going? I haven't seen a pop-up for that in a while. Um, not amazingly good, but not bad. I think we actually can. Oh, cool. My daughter is a Grey Eminence. Uh, if you're being a Grey Eminence, you're kind of shit at diplomacy. That's okay, though, I guess. Um, oh wait, never mind. It just hadn't updated her stats yet. Okay, I do have two daughters that, or three daughters, I guess, now that need to kind of be married off here. Yeah, we'll worry about that later, though, I think. Well, maybe not, actually. Because now that I don't have a liege, maybe I can actually get some good alliances. Okay. King of East Francia. That wouldn't be a bad ally to have. What is this land right in here? Um, yeah, rum tree. What is this? Oh, you're the king of, like, pretty much everything. Yeah, you've got that huge thing going on. Yeah, though, an alliance with the king of East Francia would not be the worst thing in the world, I think. What are you? Um, Prince of France. Let me see. Yeah, so up by rank. 
of Gwen, wherever the hell that is. How old is he? Age 14, so he'll be of age soon. And where the hell are your... Oh, you're all the way up there. That's not helpful. Okay, yeah, let's do the, the West Francia thing. Or East Francia, I should say. Um, how old are you? Nine, so it'll be a few years before that comes to fruition, but... Alright. That'll be quite the age boost. Not for me, I don't think. I think it'll be for my daughter. Have to wait for the wedding to actually go through, though. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back in. So hopefully the frame rate stops tanking quite so hard. Um, all right, so there's that taken care of. What about my next daughter? Oh, we need commanders now, I guess. Sure, why not you? All right, um, you want to marry a ruler, huh? Let me see, Duke of Luxembourg. Which is where? Ah, uh, that probably wouldn't help us too much, actually, truth be told. I think I'll hold off for now. We'll just kind of wait and see how things develop around us. Alright. And with that, let's go ahead and let things kind of carry on. I want to drop the speed a little bit. That'll also help fix the frame rate problems. Um, let's see here. Alright, so El Papa likes me better. Doesn't like me, but likes me better. Let's see. How are the levies doing? Okay, we are pretty much good there. So I think it is time to pick a piece of land and go for it. I think it's going to be this piece here. Actually, before I do that... Uh, let's go... Can I usurp this title yet? No. God damn it. Alright, screw it. Declare war for... Oh, I can claim all of Anju. Oh. But it's for, it's for, um... Like, it would be claiming it for somebody else. So I'd almost need them to be landed in my own land before I could make a claim there. Because if I... Like, for instance, if I made this guy's claim for him. Can I move this out of the way, please? Yeah, you don't currently hold a title. Does anybody? Okay, this is super irritating where that's coming up. You don't... You actually do. Oh, okay, so if I did that... Ah, but you see, it would make him a duke. And I'm not a king yet. So we don't actually want to do that. As much as I would love to claim it. Uh, we, we just, we cannot do that yet. Alright, what else can we claim then? That one, that one, that one. Yeah. Alright, let's start with, as I said, we'll start with Nevers. All right. So, and with that, we can call in some allies. King Carl the Black, King of France. Isn't that the person I'm going to war with? Okay. Maybe he'll come help out. I doubt it. Oh, wait, no, this is the guy I'm... I'm uh, oh, no, the, okay. I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, he's all the way over there. Eh, I don't think he's gonna help. Like, even if he decides to hop in, I don't think he's gonna help. Alrighty. But we do have some enemy people in my land already, which is less than awesome. So let's go ahead. I thought there was a button that I could raise the levees I wanted. All right, we'll just do it this way then.
All right, make a run for it, boys. Oh, cool. So he's actually going to honor the obligation. I, as I said, I don't think he's going to do anything. You know, I think that's more or less just, uh, you know, we'll be your cheerleaders. Ra ra, go you. Ra ra, go you. But, you know, um, I appreciate the cheerleading, if nothing else. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is squash their armies as much as we can. Because this is going to be a hard-fought war. Make no mistake there. But I think we can win. Because we have me, who is like a level 20 commander. Which is going to... Uh-oh. Of Scotland. Alright, I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference in this war, but we'll see. It has a better chance of making a difference than my ally does, truth be told. Alright, so far this is going fairly well. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Uh-oh, this is not good. Oh, shit, no! Fuck! Alright, that's not good. Fucking hell, how did we lose that? Our freaking flank collapsed, that's why. Shit balls. Um, alright, well, we need mercs now. We sure as shit need mercs now. All right, what are we making? We are making five a month. What can we hire for like five gold a month? Like nothing. Let me see. That's like 1,900 men that they could bring in though. I need potentially more than that though. But sure, we'll start with them. Just to get sheer number of bodies. Oh shit. Uh, that's not good. Ah. Uh, all right. That's defeat, unfortunately. These guys are not going to be at full morale when they get there, but then again, neither are these guys. All right. So this has been not a good war so far. This is a, no stop you're this is not the time for you to fall apart I need you to stay together god damn it get them back in there to hopefully help win this battle do we lose this battle and the war is done okay that's a victory not a very decisive one truth be told but it is still a victory where are they going send my only hope at this point is to hunt them down and kill them all and then holding pattern this war until my levies recover. Speaking of, actually, I need to get my marshal training troops because that is going to be a, that is going to be a problem. Where are you going now? Oxair. All of them. We, we have to kill them all. We have to kill them all. Perfect. What's this? Uh... Right. Go nuts. And will you join my war? Please? Alright, come down here. Oh, for God's sakes. Um... We request the honor your obligation and so this is called the war against the Bavarian Revolt. Where are you? All the way over there. Alright, we are going to accept it so we don't lose the prestige, but I ain't doing shit to help. I got my own problems right now, kid. Oh, yes! We just brought in East Francia! That is amazing! That might be the thing that saves our ass. Oh god, I hope so. That could be so good. All right, how'd my air turn out? Oh my god. 
Wow. That is a shitty air. Okay. Unlanded Suns. Oh, you know what? As soon as we uh, take some land for you, you can have it. Unmarried heir. Yes, this actually is a problem. All right, let's arrange a marriage for him then. He needs somebody who's going to bump up his his uh, intrigue. Like, I almost don't care about the claims and shit. Grimaud, where where is that? Not all that far away, actually. Um, if I did that, it would be a loss in prestige, which is not great. The next person is your courtier, courtier, all freaking courtiers that have decent intrigue skill. The first princess we have is 15 at 11, but she's orthodox. Shaft. Um... It almost doesn't matter. Like, his intrigue is so freaking low. Oh, wait, his stats hadn't updated. Okay, his intrigue is still low, but he is a level 19 commander, so he's damn near as good as me in a fight. In fact, I think with the recent health problems my character's been having, he might be better. Okay, marrying him to somebody who is, you know... Yeah, we're starting to get down into the shit that don't matter now. What about a high stewardship? Wow, you're actually freaking amazing at stewardship. Anybody with any decent genetic traits we can maybe bring in? What about geniuses? Any available? We have one genius available. Um... This would give me... Where the hell are you? You're in... You're in Italy, basically. Hmm... But she's also the only genius available. Still, though. Ah, uh, yeah, she's part of a merchant republic, though. I'm not super pleased about that idea. No. Let me see. 32 versus 22. I think we're gonna go with this one. Take the prestige hit. Um... Yeah, we're going to take the prestige hit, which kind of sucks. But it gets him somebody who can handle, you know, the intrigue of the court later on. Which is good. We're going to keep our mercs for now. In fact... Perfect. Um... Is that... Well, Gary, that's the... That's my ally, right? I'm going to double, just double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's my ally. King of, oh, wait, the King of Bulgaria. I forgot about... Wow, he actually is helping. Holy shit. That's freaking amazing. He might just win my war for me. That would, that would be awesome. Get back here, you shit. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do while he goes ahead and sieges out some of this is I'm just going to hunt down some of his forces. Uh, all right, my... S okay, no. Tell him about moderation. Temperate, perfect. Oh, we have gained a better understanding of military matters during this battle. Excellent. All right, we have another child who lacks a guardian. He is my own son. I only have one um, ward currently. I could take him on. What about my vassals? Any of my vassals that kind of need a opinion boost? You do, actually. Um. Oh yeah, you're the person. You're controlling this, aren't you? Mm. Can I take your title away from you? No. What are your traits like? Not good. But you are raising, like, 
the fourth in line or something like that, so... It might be worth it. Kind of as a sign of good faith. Um... Yeah, okay, so I think I'll, I'll let her, so Annie is going to, uh, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Is going to, um, educate my child. How the shit is my mother still alive? Holy crap. Like, my character's almost died. A few times. But my mother is just... Taking on just fine. Whatever. Go over here and murder these guys. Alright, so she does, in fact, want to get married. King of Burgundy. Yeah, okay. There you go. Done and done. Alright, we're definitely getting to the point where I'm going to want to release my mercs soon, I think. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Join up with the uh, forces that came over from Bulgaria. It's hilarious. I thought East Francia was going to be my salvation in this war. Turns out it's actually Bulgaria. Which I was not expecting to even join in the fight at all. Go ahead and wipe out what we can. I really don't want to keep these marks on for, any, for very much longer, though. As I said, we're going to come over here. Join up with his forces. Then I'm going to go into my military screen, mercenaries. And we are going to dismiss these guys. Leaving with, with not much, but we are going to then attach them to this guy's army so that that way they don't get caught out. And then we're just going to help him go. Uh, my brother Rorgas. Wait, weren't you banished? Um... I could have swore you were banished. No, it was Charles that was banished. You were, like, the younger, younger, younger brother. Um, alright. Let's see what we can find you as far as marriage goes. Let's see... Middlesex, where's that? That's up in Britain. Sure, why don't we ship my brother off to Britain? That works for me. Uh, let me see. As a relative of a king, Rorgaz would gain one prestige from marrying into House Huggins and a hundred from marrying a countess. Uh, am I considered a king right now? I guess I kind of am. Still technically a duke, but yeah. Um, okay, we kind of hit his prestige a little bit. But, he would, his sons would gain titles over in Britain, which is not horrible. Check something real quick. Ah, uh, the liege is a boy. Yeah, no, I think I think that's what we're just gonna go with because it doesn't really matter for us. It's never really gonna help us too much. So yeah, there you go. Off to Middlesex, you go. Um. What's all this now? Vassal inheritance reporting. Countess Anne. That is a problem. Uh, let me guess. Her husband is like chased or something. No, nope, he actually has a child. Oh, that's the child that's going to inherit. Yeah, that. There. Why is that a problem? Okay. 
I don't understand why this is a problem. And prisoner? Uh, 71% chance of success. Using this option is used as tyrannical. Yeah, that's no good. If we kill her son, though, who's five, then he couldn't inherit. How easy would it be to kill this whelp? Starts out pretty good. But we have nobody who can help. So that's no good. Um. Crap, that is going to be a problem. Oh, wait. Maybe he's not, actually. No, he, okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I'm thinking of this the wrong way. That's fine. At least can be usurped. Can I actually do this yet? Nope, he's still at war. All right, I, but I've gone way over time on this episode, guys. So, uh, yeah, an interesting start to the war. Um, thankfully, our Bulgarian ally is here to bail our ass out of ass deep alligators. But either way, we will see, hopefully, the conclusion of this war in the next episode. Until then, so long.